God, I look dead. Ah, good morning. Hello. I woke up feeling so allergic. Eyes feel like they're burning. And I was so tired <laughs> that I was like, maybe it's the tree. Guys, the tree is plastic. It's not the tree. The tree is up. It's glowing. It's thriving. There is one ornament on there. Mmm, how cute. <laughs> oh, shit. Aside from the burning pain in my eyes right now, I need my second cup of espresso. I am just... I'm so tired, it's one of those days. I just sat behind my laptop, didn't do any of the things that I had to do, and I was like, I'm gonna take a shower. Taking a shower will clear my head, <laughs> and I don't really like to shower in the morning just because it makes me kind of sleepy. My point is proven, I need my second cup of coffee. My sister and I got this coffee, we blended it up at Whole Foods, and it's the Mocha Java flavor. I love it, it tastes so good with oat milk. Look at the assortment of milk. <laughs> I always go with oat milk, although I kind of do want some eggnog. Can make a little eggnog latte, but no, I'm just gonna go with the classic oat beverage. Yes, milk, frost. <gasps> Our little latte. It's kind of a bright day, but this will make it brighter. It's currently 9.30 and I'm feeling pretty stressed out. My nails, my nails always reflect how I'm feeling on the inside. They're looking a little, little ratchet. I just feel like all I've been doing is sitting behind the computer. Today is no different. I really have to get a lot of stuff done. And then later, hopefully I'll see Kane, but I also want to make a lasagna. I'm also going to work out in about an hour and a half. So that's my me time. I have to get myself to work out because it's the best way to to balance my my emotions and regulate my mood and make sure that my body is listening to my brain and vice versa. And it's not fun work that I have to do because um, it involves a lot of writing and I don't like writing at all. I always have to write. I'm not the worst writer, but I don't enjoy it. <laughs> That's just the truth. I don't love writing. It's just, it's very hard for me and it, it creates a lot of stress for me. Um, and the first panic attack, or maybe the second panic attack I ever had in my life, I think the first one was actually in a swimming pool because I hate swimming. And I had to go on this field trip and swimming was involved and I straight up just like died in the locker room. <laughs> I think the second panic attack was during a English class in high school where I literally couldn't breathe I was sweating. I felt like I was dying like I was awake and I was alive But I felt like I was dying English and writing has always just kind of induced that different level of stress for me Even though it's so important like anything I've ever had to do involved a lot of writing writing just stresses me out Okay, that's all I'm gonna say. I'm gonna keep drinking this It is now 12 15 and just so you know I didn't work out. <laughs> I have not moved from this spot except to have an avocado toast, but I'm hungry again and I think I'm just gonna make a quick smoothie. I feel like that coffee did nothing for me because I still feel so tired. I don't know why. Ugh, so tired. <laughs> I'm pretty annoyed that I didn't work out. Um, as I said, it's like the one part of the day that I'm like, this is for me, love it. I always feel better, but I just like couldn't do it. Couldn't get up. Um, and I was like, I still haven't finished my work. So the stress of not being done, I think prevented me from doing it right now. Just gonna do this fruit medley. I really don't like that vital proteins flavor. It just makes everything taste like it comes from like the sea and I don't like that taste, but this is pretty good. I love shakes and smoothies. They they feel so good to like drink and they're so easy to make. I just like, especially for lunch, I don't feel like standing there and like making something ever. So shakes are just the easiest and they always make me feel good after. So they're definitely a go-to regardless of the time of the year. I bought some candles from Zara, but these are the Joe Malone candles. Sometimes I feel like my focus music puts me to sleep. But anyway, this, 
it smells amazing um and i was so curious to try them because i love when like high-end brands do collaborations with high street brands i just was so stoked to try a joe malone collab with zara i got two of them and i must say the scent is amazing it smells so good it smells like a beautiful joe malone candle it's not so strong that it makes the whole room smell good it does smell good around your area which sometimes i actually like i don't want to feel overpowered with the scent this is pretty good for just like scenting up the area like if you're sitting on the couch you light it here you can smell it on the couch um but you won't be able to smell it in the kitchen typically for joe malone a baby candle that's 20 grams is like $30 or $40 and this is 200 grams and it's 25 Canadian dollars. So it says made in Great Britain. So I think it was made in Joe Malone's factory, but to set the mood, I'm gonna continue sitting on my laptop. The sun is coming out. I just wanna lay here, <laughs> but I can't, you know? It's one of those days where I just feel, I feel kind of lazy, but I can't be lazy. So I'll just sit here for two minutes <laughs> and then I'll go back to my laptop. Mm. This is my mood. It's so bright right now. I love it so much. Here is the first set of ingredients. I actually don't have a lot of the cheeses that this recipe needs. I'm also going to use some honey. This is a blackberry blossom honey, some extra virgin olive oil, as well as salt. Let's start with some olive oil. Would you just look at that? Now go in with my hands and make sure everything is coated beautifully. I'm gonna melt six tablespoons of butter. It's a lot of butter, but we love butter. <laughs> and then I'm gonna add the garlic. I'm gonna add one teaspoon of basil, one tablespoon of the sage. Quickly add some flour. This does not look appetizing. <laughs> Um, it smells really good though. Now I will add some milk. I'm gonna add some nutmeg. There we have the cheese sauce. So I'm just gonna let that sit. And then and now these are good. I already tasted like five and I'm just gonna mash them up and mix them up with some more cheese, this time with ricotta cheese. Take out all my stress on this. This looks like baby food and it tastes so good. I'm now gonna add some of this, most of this, but not all of it, and then all of this ricotta, and this is gonna be the filling. This recipe calls for no boil pasta, but that's not how the pros do it, so I'm just gonna boil my pasta and then ruin the kitchen in the process. Here we have the lasagna before it goes into the oven and I made an accident. Guys, I didn't know I didn't need the whole pack of lasagna. <laughs> Just gonna sprinkle a little bit of sage on top and then this is what it looks like before it goes into the oven. I'm so excited to see how this turns out. It's a lot later now and I am ready. I got ready because Kane is downstairs and we're gonna go for a quick walk. I kind of burned the oven and I'm gonna have to clean it. And there was so much smoke in the air. I did not burn it, but it smells like I burned it um, because it spilled a little bit in the oven, which my sister is gonna be so mad at me about, but I will clean it and she will never find out unless she watches this video. I'm so sorry. <laughs> But here we have the lasagna. As you can see, it really overflowed inside of the oven. It smells so good. This is such a good winter dish um, from the outside. I have never tasted it before. I'm gonna try this after when I come back. And this is the part that was like popping up and it didn't stay down. Here is my quick little outfit of the day. I'm wearing these like chunky shoes from Zara, which I've actually never worn out before. They are complete Prada copies. These leather, faux leather pants by Levi's. This is so... <laughs> 
Um, I can't even properly show you. Do I stand on the toilet? Um, I'm wearing this necklace from Majuri and my earrings are very old mango. This sweat sweater that I wear all the time by Anina Bing. And if I look a little washed out, it's because I'm not wearing my typical makeup look. I'm wearing this little milk makeup, um, like two in one cheek and lip. Um, I could definitely use some more color on either my cheek or my lip. Here we have the full look with the coat. I love it. It makes me, ah, I'm late. Okay, I'm gonna put my mask on, I'm gonna go. <laughs> not wait so I got my two slices of lasagna and I'm gonna try it it's been sitting sitting out for a couple hours maybe two hours I left only for like two hours we're gonna do a first bite one more bite so I omitted gouda cheese because I didn't have any um, so I think I should I should use that next time just because I feel like it would actually taste so good with this flavor combination. And I'm gonna keep eating this. <laughs> but you can't go wrong with butternut squash, lasagna, or really cheese. <laughs> mm. Good morning, it's the next day. I just painted my nails and they're looking way better than they did yesterday. And I'm having my second cup of coffee because today is another day where I'm very exhausted. I've had class so far at 6 a.m. and that's why I need a sugar, a sugar pick me up, which is not good, but I'm having this um, coffee cake. It's like a apricot blueberry coffee cake from Whole Foods. It's so good. I'm um, just gonna take this slice and consume this for a bit. I do plan on filming a haul, so I have everything set up here. I set up the camera already. And then I'm also going to do a luxury shoe unboxing. Definitely not something I should have done. <laughs> I've been listening to Sia all day long. Christmas, non-Christmas music. I'm going to film a haul and I figured I would do the unboxing of my luxury shoe on the vlog because I need to open the box. <laughs> also, I must say I love this Pat McGrath mascara. It makes my eyelashes so long and full and it stays on all day and it doesn't like flake all over my face. I just love Pat McGrath. Her stuff is beautiful and I'm so glad that she came out with a makeup line. The truth is I should not have got this. But this is just, again, another one of those items that I think is so unique and gorgeous. You'll see it and you will die um, because I died. <laughs> this box is so cryptic. I'm gonna get some scissors or a butter knife. That works too. Struggled so hard with a box before. Oh my god. This is the worst packaging I've ever encountered. We got shipped from Italy, so maybe that's why they've like taped it and bound it, and the box is just different. <sighs> we got in. We got in. Ah, you can just leave. Here we have the shoe box. Just love it. Everything about Saint Laurent. Mm -hmm. That's my tissue. Beep. They're in here. It's so light. Oh, oh my God. Here is the shoe. Wow. It's so light. It's gorgeous. Look at this shoe. It's so, so stunning. I was like, oh my God, I thought both shoes were in this. <laughs> I'm like, no wonder it's so light. It's only one shoe. The so dumb. Okay, uh, this is the second shoe. Here they both are together. The side, someone's like hammering something upstairs. The side, the back the other side and I fell in love with these. I love that they look vintage. These literally look like vintage shoes. I personally like designer pieces that don't scream designer. Like I don't love logos. I don't think that that's fashion. I don't think a logo is fashion. I don't think that that's style. But when I see a piece that I think is worth having in like a collection having in your wardrobe something that you aren't going to get sick of and it's truly something you want not something that is just a trend because i feel like with so many designer pieces they they're just trendy like 
one year, I remember every single person had that Yves Saint Laurent t-shirt and that t-shirt was like $550 and it was just a trend because now I barely ever see that t-shirt. And if I do, um, it just, I have the same feeling towards it that I did years ago where I'm like, I feel like people just bought that or buy certain things for for a name or for a logo. And for someone who, I love fashion, I love fashion so much, obviously. If the average person were to see this on the street, if I were to wear this around my parents, they're not gonna know that it's Saint Laurent. They shouldn't know it's Saint Laurent because then they will kill me. I want it more so to be something that I love so much. And that's why when I saw these, I'm just like, these are gorgeous. These are such a classic shape of a shoe and it's just gorgeous. And actually, this little tip is not black. It's it's a navy. I'm so obsessed. I'm so happy. They're everything that I thought they would be. And they're so adults. Like, I'm not going to roll around the streets with this. <laughs> they're for a special occasion if we ever get to have special occasions again. I'm so happy with them. I want to put them in my future closet that I... I hope to have one day. <laughs> I don't even have a closet right now. I like pieces that are a little bit more discreet. Like any designer piece I have doesn't have like the logo plastered all over it. Like I have a few Chloe pieces and like nobody would know that they're Chloe unless I'm like, hey, my shoes are from Chloe or um, my sweater is by Chloe. If I really wanted to like show off or to be like, look at me, like I have Gucci, I would just buy something with the logo everywhere they were just an item that i fell so in love with and i like i need to justify it because i don't want to be like promoting excess and you know this is obviously such a irresponsible thing to do with during this time of life and the year i justified it because they're so stunning <laughs> so stunning so classic very much a timeless piece that i will i think love forever now i'm gonna share it in the hall and be just as excited from them <laughs> I'm all like, oh my God, I love fashion. Look at these designer shoes. Look at my pants right now. <laughs> I'm wearing sweatpants that don't fit me and they, I'm pretty sure they have a bunch of stains on them. Let me know what you think of these. I just, I think they're so, so, so freaking beautiful. I'm in my last French class ever for the semester. It's a review class for our final next week. I'm a little nervous for this exam next week, so I gotta pay attention. And I didn't finish filming my haul. Um, I'll do the rest of the try on tomorrow. All right, my French class is done. Um, luckily, I why? I feel like every time I pick up the camera, something goes wrong, bread down. I'm so happy I was paired up with my friend Mika, who I love, um, in my French class, and we just did a review together. Honestly, online language classes are the hardest thing ever. I'm gonna fill up the water and you're in the fridge right now. <laughs> just give me one second. Um, I love the water that comes out from the fridge. It's so cold and so refreshing. I'm trying to minor in French, so I really need to know how to properly conjugate. I can't like cheat my way. <laughs> Not that I'm cheating, but um, it's just a lot easier to answer questions when you are behind the computer. I was gonna work out, but honestly, my period came to town today, which explains why I was anxious and I was less productive than I wanted to be yesterday. And I was just slower and caffeine was not helping me. And I'm glad to know, okay, I feel like this is exploding. Let's stop the microwave. I'm glad to know that I wasn't the problem and it's because I was getting my period today that I was so tired and the coffee wasn't doing anything for me. I have my lasagna. I think I do want to watch TV before my sister comes because I'm not working out. So I'll just watch some Dynasty. It's pretty bad, but I like it. Let's take off the glasses. I'm just going to eat some dinner and then continue doing some work. And I hope that you guys love this vlog. If you did, be sure to give it a thumbs up. If you have any comments or requests, comment them down below. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye!